My friend's girlfriend is plagued with mental demons, all of them telling her I'm trying to steal her man, now I avoid them like the plague, but somehow I'm still living rent-free inside her head. Posted by you slash particular anxious 208. Miles and I are in our early 20s. We have known each other since we were two because our parents are best friends. Now, I wouldn't say Miles is my best friend. He is a good friend and we do hang out on occasion, but we see each other on all major holidays because of our parents. The problem started because of a dumb childhood memory. When we were eight, we had a wedding play in the school aftercare program. I played the bride and Miles was the groom. It was a play with horrible songs and uncoordinated kids. Obviously, our parents took pictures and videos of that, and we each have one picture on our family picture walls. Miles is dating Lindy. They met three years ago and started dating last year. Lindy does not like me. So every time we coincide at a celebration, she makes a comment about me being the typical girl best friend. One time, she even said that I secretly wanted to sleep with Miles. I have no clue where she got that impression from. Miles and I have different friend groups and schedules, and besides the monthly catch-up over food, we don't really meet that much. Things got worse when Lindy saw the wedding play picture. The comments just increased. She even started DMing me on Instagram, saying she knew what game I was playing. I talked to Miles about this once, and he told me to give her time. So his birthday was on Saturday, and I was invited. Lindy wrote me something along the lines of her supervising me. This was their first birthday as a couple, and I was apparently not allowed to take up his time. I was honestly just fed up. I tried talking to Miles once more, but he said the same thing. So I just skipped it. When the party started, I wrote a quick message saying, sorry, I can't come, and told him my mother would bring his present. Now he's upset with me for missing his birthday, Lindy is mad that I made it all about myself, and my parents are upset that I missed a family function. Edit. I didn't show anyone the messages because I didn't want to make more out of this than it is. I didn't want to turn anyone against Lindy, especially since she's a new fixture in Miles' life. That would just make things more difficult for both of us. I thought that talking about it might be the more mature thing to do. My parents aren't mad at me or blowing up my phone, they, along with Miles' parents, were just bummed out that this was the first birthday I ever missed. As for why she's jealous, I have no idea. Neither of our parents ever wanted us to get together. There were never any jokes or anything about it. I think they'd also never want that. The wedding play picture is in the living rooms because they loved it, and it was our first play. Update 11 days later. I'll update you on the first part and clarify some things later. After my post, I talked to Miles. At first, he was kind of mad and thought I had been blowing things out of proportion. We came to the conclusion that we should distance ourselves while he figures things out. Mainly because I didn't want the added stress of petty drama. Then I talked to my parents and explained to them what was going on. They were really upset by how Lindy treated me. Obviously, they weren't going to get involved, but it was nice to get that off my chest. Then, nothing else happened, until Tuesday evening. Wednesday was a holiday, so some of my friends took the opportunity to go to an Irish pub to do karaoke. At some point, my best friend and I went to the bathroom to pee and touch up our makeup. Then Lindy and some of her friends walked in and kind of cornered us. It wasn't pretty. They started loudly talking about man stealing beaches and how some women were just born to be homewreckers. They talked about how pathetic it is to pretend to be a guy's friend just to sleep with him, and how pick-me girls are the worst. They kept edging us physically into the area by the hand dryers while pretending we weren't there. My best friend eventually had enough and just pushed through them, pulling me behind her. We were almost back at our table when Lindy came up behind me and pulled my hair, causing me to fall backward onto a metal footrest. It hurt so much that I started to see white. Then a girl next to Lindy poured beer on me. I can't really tell you what happened after that but there was a scuffle, and someone dropped one of those heavy pint glasses on my head. Lindy and her friends were taken away by the police, and I was taken to the hospital. My parents were furious, as were Miles' parents. They both came to the hospital. I was severely concussed, my nose was fractured, and the worst thing is that I have a hairline fracture in my back. I stayed in the hospital until yesterday morning. Miles tried calling me several times, but my parents told him not to visit me right now. I did get an official notice stating that there's now a legal case against Lindy and one other girl for assault and public disturbance in the bar. So now I'll have to deal with all that legally. I finally talked to Miles. Long story short, those of you saying Lindy isolating him was a sign of an abusive relationship were right. He told me all the things she said to him to make him feel awful. She would freak out about anything in her life and take it out on him. She would scratch and bite him when she was mad. Our talk ended with both of us crying and apologizing. We're going to be closer again. At least we can talk about these things more openly. He broke up with her and is staying at my parents' house. So that's it for now. Second update three months later. I'll update immediately and go into details later. An official court date has been set for my case against Lindy. It took two months to get, and it's still some months away, 
but at least it's something. Our lawyer said that Lindy is probably not going to jail since she's a first-time offender. If she does go to jail, it would be for no more than three months. Most likely, she'll have to pay a fine equivalent to 100 days of her income or something like that. I've let my father handle this 100% because I don't have a head for it. There's a second lawsuit going on at the same time since I am now legally considered chronically ill. The hairline fracture wasn't a passing thing but has developed into a long-term condition. I'm in pain daily. Not every day is terrible, but not a day passes where I'm not at least at a 2 on the pain scale. As a result, I haven't been able to work. Right now, my insurance pays 75% of my former income, and my workplace covers the rest, but I will probably get fired. So, my insurance filed a claim against Lindy to cover my lost wages. I'm currently not in contact with Miles. I try to be supportive, but being disabled by his jealous ex-girlfriend has made me bitter toward him. He was a victim, but now I can't live my life, and I partly blame him for that. I'm in therapy to work through all of this and have taken up some new hobbies. I've started writing more and looking into courses or online classes. Miles' parents have been very apologetic and have supported me a lot. His mother has been a saint. She's volunteered to drive me everywhere, and we've actually become friends. We even went to see Deadpool and Wolverine together. She's a stay-at-home wife, so we have a lot of time. One of Lindy's friends reached out through my lawyer, offering to testify against her. She also sent a letter apologizing. To make a long story short, Lindy had told them that I was bullying her and that Miles had already cheated on her with me once before. So that's where things stand right now. Take care and watch your back. Third update two months later. Hey everyone. So, here we are again, and yeah, things have moved along, but honestly, I'm just tired. The first court date? It came and went. It was my insurance company versus Lindy, and surprise surprise, she lost. She's on the hook for most of my lost wages, which is nice, I guess. I didn't have to be there the whole time, which I was grateful for because I've had enough of this mess. As for the criminal case, well, we don't even know if we'll end up going to court for that one. My lawyer is handling it, and I've handed the reins over to my dad because, honestly, I've had it. I'm no legal expert, and after that insurance loss, Lindy's in a bad spot. Her legal team is apparently scrambling to do some serious damage control, but at this point, that's not my problem. More of Lindy's friends have crawled out of their hidey holes to give testimony. Turns out this wasn't her first rodeo. Another girl came forward with evidence of Lindy pulling similar stunts back in high school. This poor girl was just sitting next to Lindy's then boyfriend, being a normal human, and Lindy went off the rails, starting rumors and even spreading literal breadcrumbs on her table to trigger her celiac disease. Yeah, she's that kind of psycho. No one could prove it at the time, but now, with all these friends popping up, it's all coming to light. And believe me, these girls didn't have some moral epiphany, they're just terrified of getting fired or having anything negative pop up in their records. The receipts are coming out, and it's getting uglier by the day. Now, let's talk about Miles, because that's a whole other dumpster fire. I'm still not speaking to him. Turns out he's known for a while that Lindy was threatening him with bad things if he didn't cut me off and make his parents stop talking to me. And this idiot laughed it off, thinking she meant breaking up with him or something. But no, she was dead serious, she even started stalking me and one of his cousins. She made a fake profile and was sending cryptic messages to his cousin. What did Miles do? He talked her down. Yeah, that's it. She kept giving him ultimatums, and he just rolled with it. So, yeah, I'm even angrier at him now. He knew she was unhinged and didn't do a damn thing about it. He let her spiral while I got dragged through the mud. His dad finally got involved and dragged him to the police, where they filed reports about all the crap Lindy pulled. They have evidence now from the stuff with his cousin and even photos from when Lindy got physical with him. So, at least something's happening on that front, but it's too little, too late if you ask me. As for Lindy, well, she's gone radio silent. Except for TikTok, of course. My friends keep sending me her cringy videos, and it's honestly kind of disturbing. She's acting like nothing's happening, like her whole life isn't unraveling. She's got a new boyfriend now, and they're making those awful lip sync videos together. I think she's living at his place, but who knows? Maybe her parents cut her off. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, and the guy? Yeah, one of my friends looked him up. Let's just say he fits right into her pattern. As my grandma would say, there's a lid for every pot. On the health front, still nothing good to report. My pain hasn't improved, and I'm now waiting for a surgery appointment, which looks like it'll be early 2025. The pain is radiating to my left hip now, which is just great. I feel like that sad little dog from the black cauldron. But, hey, silver lining, I've made friends with a few of the nurses who work with me. One of them braids my hair, which is kind of sweet. I'm also seeing a physiotherapist regularly, mostly for massages at this point. It helps, but some days I feel like I'm just patching myself together with duct tape. 
The therapist suggested I start doing pool exercises, so now I'm in an aqua aerobics class for seniors. No, there isn't a disability specific class in my town, and frankly, I didn't feel like looking too hard. The old ladies are a riot, though. Well, except for one who always looks miserable, but honestly, I'm not one to talk. One piece of good news, I finally got approved for a wheelchair. So, at least I can go out with my friends without feeling like my body is falling apart after an hour. I've also been taking a few university courses for fun and playing way too much Fallout. So, there's that. And that's where we are. It's still a mess, but I'm just doing what I can to get through it. Thanks for sticking around, I guess.